Hey guys, uh, so here we are with the second part. This is the fee uh, for the reviews. This is the V Force Grill. Um, I, from what I know, it's um, kind of like the prototype to the profiler, but uh, that's just my opinion. So, anyways, I'm going to show you how to field, clean, and uh, strip this mask down so you can clean it if you ever have one. Um, my personal preference on this mask is not actually a lot of peripheral vision. I kind of find it more like a, the JT masks, but uh, whatever. All I know it so uh, durable plastic, really good durable plastic. Uh, you can put a visor on right here. I don't have any. Uh, nose is plastic, not as pliable as what the V Force Profiler is, but it's just good enough. Um, this part covers. I'll show you. It just covers your jawline, right? So you have, well, I have maybe half an inch, but it'll do. So on the back, forgot to tell you this about the V-Force, but also has, yeah, that's the good stuff right there. Make sure it doesn't come off your head. Very stretchable, very adjustable, uh, like basically kind of like a one size fits all kind of thing. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how you strip it. So again with the, the, the grills to the V-Force, there's the tabs again, right in there. This one's a little easier, you just push down and pull out. Um, and what's going to happen is when you do that, this piece right here is just going to pop right out. So that's over with. I'm going to come back to the other side, same thing, push down, pull out, and the tab just falls out. Don't lose these, you're going to need them. So then, it's the same thing, uh, again, this tab just slides right off. The thing is, is this tab doesn't come off. It's sitting on a track. It's a small track in there that it sits on, so it's not going anywhere. So you slide that piece back, other side, slide that back. Same thing with the V-Force Profiler. Push, down, and there you go. You got your whole mat, you got your whole visor out. The same thing. Uh, damp cloth on the top, wipe it off. Be careful with the thermal thermal side. Wet, uh, wet cloth, wipe it down as fast as you can. Try not to leave any scratches. It's a little dirt on there. Um, and yeah, and then with the inside as well, you want to clean all in here, all in here. It's still uh, a little dirty, whatever. So you clean all in here, and then what you'll do is put it back in, one side in. Same thing with the reinforced profile, you have to match up these tabs. Put it other side in, match up, match up, and it clicks in as so. Make sure there's no There you go, there we go. Now it clicked in. Alright, tab on. Well you gotta put these on after. Other tab, side in. One tab. Switch to the other side. Take your piece, clip it right in there, there you go. Other tab, take it, put it in, other clap, clip, and there you go. So now I have just shown you the V-Force Profiler and the V-Force Grills. In my opinion, the V-Force Profiler wins for peripheral vision. Um, in my other opinion, the V-Force grills actually kind of works a little bit taking apart so you can clean it faster. As for the profiler, you have a little bit of a trouble with these tabs trying to slide them back. But in my, uh, my final decision, both masks are really good. Um, they both sell. I think the grill sells for about 40 The profiler maybe 60 to 80 Depends on where you find your mask. They all come in sort of seven colors, so like red, green, black, whatever. Both of them. Really, really good mass. I suggest if you're going to pick up a mass, pick up the uh, the V-Force Profiler, not so much the grills. Uh, but aside from that, this is my review on the Profile and the Grills V-Force mass. And this is Skibbles on 11, guys. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.